Hi guys, Dr. Ergen here, your trusted endocrinologist, your hormone specialist, and the guy many of you see in my Port St. Lucie, Florida clinic. Have you ever heard someone say, just drink water, it will lower your blood sugar? Sounds too easy, right? Almost like magic. And honestly, it kind of works though, but also does not. So it totally depends on when and why you're drinking it. So today, let's break it down. When does drinking water actually help drop your blood sugar? That's the question. And when is it just giving you more trips to the bathroom? Let's start with the part that is true. When you wake up in the morning, your blood sugar might be elevated. So maybe it is like 180, 200 or even higher sometimes for some people, not everybody, right? Why? Because your body has been fasting and you have not had any fluids for six to eight hours or more maybe, and you're waking up mildly dehydrated. On top of that, if you have insulin resistance, dawn phenomenon and all that, you wake up with 130 by within an hour or two, your blood sugar is up to 160, 180 milligram per deciliter. Now, your body is often trying to pee out extra sugar through your kidneys too. So that's also called osmotic diuresis. Now, glucose in the blood is so high sometimes, your kidneys cannot reabsorb it. So it ends up in your urine. And when glucose goes out, it pulls water with it. So you're not going to pee crystals, right? You start peeing a lot. And that leads to, you guess it, more dehydration. So the higher the blood sugar, the more dehydration. Now. When you drink water first thing in the morning, in this state of dehydration and high blood sugar, it can actually help. You are refilling your tank. Your blood becomes a little less concentrated. Your kidneys are able to flush out sugar more efficiently. Now, in that case, yes, drinking water can lower your blood sugar. We see this a lot in my clinic. Patients check their glucose at 6 a.m. It is high. They drink 16, 20 ounces of water. Check again 30 to 60 minutes later and boom. Their blood sugar dropped like 15, 20, sometimes even 30 points. But hold on. Let's flip the scenario here. It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You have eaten and you have had water all day long. And your blood sugar is 150. And you decide to drink a glass of water thinking it will drop your glucose to 120. Guess what? it won't move at all why because you're not dehydrated and your kidneys are not spilling blood sugar you're not even running high to begin with yes, the blood sugar has to cross a threshold of around like 180 milligram per deciliter before your kidneys even think about dumping your glucose into your urine for diabetics that is like 220 250 actually now below that you know your kidneys will just reabsorb all the glucose so you drink water okay and you just pee out the water no sugar okay is that clear now your sugar stays exactly where it is with more water if you don't need that extra water that's the part no one tells you drinking water is not a magic bullet it is contextual and here's the physiology in plain english when your blood sugar is over 180 your kidneys start pushing sugar into your urine sugar pulls water along with it like a sponge that makes you dehydrated dehydration in turn makes your blood more concentrated which makes your glucose reading go up even higher now you're in a loop drink water in that moment it helps break the loop you dilute the blood you restore fluid balance you help your kidneys flush out what they are trying to get rid of anyway but if your blood sugar is below 180 and you are hydrated already water does nothing for glucose so yes water can lower blood sugar but only when your sugar is high enough and you are dehydrated enough let me tell you something we have been tracking something in our clinic we use a supplement the most recent supplement we have is sugar md glucion it is a functional blend we formulated for people struggling with insulin resistance elevated glucose and most of you have used glucose defense advanced glucose support now we have glucion just like pharmaceutical companies we are coming up with new stuff it's just that our stuff doesn't kill people and here's what we are seeing on patients on average you are experiencing 20 to 30 point drop in blood sugar. That is pretty consistent across the board. That's not once in a while, okay? So that's happening almost in everybody. Now, to be totally transparent, we don't have large clinical trials on Glucion yet to publish, but we are planning to do that. 
Right now, we have got real-world results, and in many cases, that's even more valuable than the theory. And let's put that 20 to 30 point drop in perspective. That is about a 1% Avancy reduction, which is a big deal. That can mean the difference between needing a medication or not, especially in the beginning. So if you are waking up with high numbers or you are running over 200 regularly, yes, start with water. But don't stop there. Water is a support tool, not a fix. Now, if you are sitting in the 140s or 150s milligram per deciliter in the afternoon and thinking water is going to bring that down, don't hold your breath. It won't. You're not in a dehydrated state. You are not spilling sugar. Your body does not need to flush anything. What you need is movement, nutrient support, maybe a little berberine, a cinnamon, a targeted tools like sugar and bugaluxion, or maybe even a medication. Now, let's stop treating water like some miracle cure. It is not a glucose lowering drug. It is a physiological helper in the right conditions. That's all. But here's the real takeaway. You're not broken. You have just been misinformed. TikTok hacks, flashy health reels, right? They throw out half truths without context. My patients come and tell me, hey doc, I've been seeing this on Facebook all the time. They say there's this one pill that cures diabetes. I'm like, you believe that really? Come on now. You know, you're better than that. Now, when you don't know how things actually work, you waste time chasing stuff that does not really move the needle. But now you understand the why behind the what. Water works when it makes sense. So here's your action plan. If your fasting blood sugar is over 180 in the morning, drink 16 to 24 ounces of water. If it is midday and your glucose is below 180, don't rely on water. Move that booty and eat strategically and consider real clinical tools like your supplements and medications. If you want sustained improvements, look into targeted supplements, right? So far, our patients are saying that the Glucion is the best supplement that I have tried in the market. Now, if this video helped you, by the way, please share it with someone else who has been sipping water, hoping for miracles. And if you are serious about turning your numbers around, check the website at sugarmds.com and please write a message in this video and we'll appreciate it and we'll be with you in the next video.